Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector here with another action figure review and here I have the Marvel Legends Uncanny X-Men uh, Rogue and I don't have the original uh, Rogue from the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure for one, she's extremely expensive and two, wasn't able to get back then anyways but yeah, I'm happy that they released this uh, it's a Target exclusive and yeah, so uh, let's go over to packaging here so you get that uncanny x-men logo on the top there you get that picture of rogue there you can get that little uh caption there if you guys want to read that absorbs i meant power absorption and you get marvel's uh rogue there and you get rogue as an action figure nothing on top the bottom or side uh here's the back if you guys want to pause and read that you can and then here's the ucpi but besides that Let's crack her open. And here's Rogue out of the packaging here. So let's go over accessories first. So first you get this ungloved hand where she touches them with her bare hands to get the power, her power absorption to get their powers. And yeah, we've seen this one from other figures. I think Jean Grey is one of them and a few others, but yeah, that's pretty good. We've seen them before. And then this is a new hand that no one's seen before. You get that one hand where you're holding where she's holding her glove uh for that hand if you put her, put this one on her uh and yeah and it's just basically a fisted hand with the add-on of that other glove there for holding it so yeah there's that uh, but besides that that's all we got for accessories so let's go over her so first her face you get that bunch of makeup on her you get the rosy cheeks you get the green eyes red lipstick uh nice eyebrows you get that green headband across her head there except this one is just like un is undone and then goes around inside the hair her hair is very foofy uh curly and long uh, you get brown hair here and then some white on top and then yeah um and then you get her original suit you get the little vest jacket or jacket here you get the x-men logo there with the red and black um and yeah and then you get this nice green line across the side here i get a little bit of paint ble bleeding through there near the thigh area you get this belt here with the red x there and yeah it's a pretty skinny belt there uh this is a separate piece for a jacket um and you get that black x outline on the chest there and yeah and then um it's not gonna bother me a whole bunch but you, they leave a little bit out uh, room for you to be able to see the little outline in the inside there but it's not gonna bother me a whole bunch and then you get these uh wristbands are kind of separate pieces so if you guys want to take them off mainly that's because when you take this off uh put this on her it's gonna be and then uh, sorry i can't talk but if you like pop that off here if i can Come on, there we go. And then just slide that through. Then it'll look like her gloves actually off completely. Uh, and yeah, and then just pop it back on. She does come with two pairs. I meant one pair of uh, fisted hands there. You get the yellow gloves and yeah. You get, a, I, I, which one was it? It's either, nope, it's this one. Um, you get a little bit, of, I got a little bit of paint chip or green bleeding in there, but yeah. Um, and then yeah, you get the long boots there with that green lining in there. You kind of missed a little bit there. You kind of missed a little bit on the green there too. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. It's not going to bother me there that much. But here, it's kind of bothering me just a little bit. Um, but yeah. And then yeah, you get the yellow boot, long boots there. You get this extra piece that is separate. It's very skinny plastic there. Same deal on the other side. Um... And yeah, let's go over articulation here. So he, she can look down just that far up, not a whole bunch, mainly because her hair is in the way. She could kind of look left and right. It's kind of tough because of her hair, like I've said. Uh, a little bit of head pivoting, hair problem again. Her shoulders can move out that far. You get 360 rotation around the shoulder there. She has single jointed elbows. Please give us double jointed next time, please. You get a little bit of rotation around the uh, elbow there. Her wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation around there. 
She has a diaphragm joint, so she can go forward just that far backwards quite a bit. She can go to side to side. Uh, she can do 360 rotation around there. Um, she could kick out that far forward quite a bit. Uh, backwards, decent amount. Uh, she has a thigh cut here. You got double jointed knees there. Her ankles can hinge down that far. Uh, up just that far and you get a nice ankle pivot so i'm glad i got this figure on uh, just some paint mess ups there green bleeding through um and a few others the head head is a little bit of a problem because the hair is super thick and doesn't want to move the head that much but besides that i'm really happy i got this figure i don't have the other old figure to do a comparison on i think the only difference was maybe a little bit of paint difference and a head sculpt, I think. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to take a look again at that. Um, but yeah, I'm happy about this figure. I'm happy I got it. Um, I'm pretty sure sometime soon this one's gonna get extremely high price if you guys try to get it later. It's gonna be very valuable later on. So, um, but yeah, I'm really happy I got it. Um, but besides that, that's all I've got.